great. We're gonna go here and all right. So this is um to the body harvest tutorial for the America stage. The first thing you're gonna want to do is jump in this car. Well, I didn't turn around very well, but just turn around and drive, and when you get to a certain point on this road, a scorpion is going to spawn in, and you're going to need to manipulate him for the next trick. So, what I like to do is I drive, I go through his five hole, start slowing down, kind of like park up against his fence. Now, I turn the camera to face the scorpion, and he should come towards me. Now, he's going to... Lost white me over to the other side. Now if I drive up, he should follow me. Alright, he's coming. So jump out and walk into the fence. And he'll come up and... When he cross wipes you, he's gonna push you through the fence. So now we just... We're gonna put the camera back on. We're gonna... Just drive up here. And right here... I'm gonna slow down a little. Fall over. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. Alright. Well, that wasn't, like, what I wanted to do. Ideally, you want to land in between this building and this cliff. And right here. Now, for America, there's two jumps that we're going to be doing. One is right here. And for these two jumps, you have to be going really fast. In fact, you have to go faster than a police truck is normally capable of going. So, while you're driving up to the jumps, you need to um, tap B to brake boost as rapidly as you can. And for this one, there's actually a setup. The time you want to start brake boosting for this jump is right about is a split second before you hit the fence. So hopefully, hopefully it'll work. It worked. All right. So this one is reasonably consistent as long as you brake boost like crazy and stop the split second before you go through that fence. You'll get over this jump pretty consistently. So after this jump, oops, I didn't want to do it. You want to come down here, turn down here, and turn left. And there's a little. You can come through here. And we're coming up on the second jump now, and this one is a lot harder. So... I just like to back myself up against the building. And position it so you can see how the red light on the um, police truck is kind of halfway lined up on that line. That's how I like to try to set myself up. And then, once again, drive, do a lot of brake boosting. And, alright. So, ideally. When you hit that jump, you'll get lift and you'll get over with the police truck, but that's really random because the roach gunner spawning in and how you interact with it, so most of the time this will just happen and unless you're going for, unless you're like me where I'm going for sub 57, you can just do this and walk to the hospital. I mean, this will lose like 30 seconds, but unless you're trying for a 56 something, I just take the time loss and keep going if you don't get lucky and get the floaty jump over. So we're just gonna ascend the hospital. Now, we're gonna grab a shotgun from this box. Now, the processor is gonna be right here, but we're not gonna kill the processor right now. We're gonna grab a helicopter. And a whole bunch of aliens, just... I like to fly a little east of north until I see this structure, and then turn north. So... 
pretty soon. Hopefully I don't get a new hand. Right here, you'll see these two buildings. When you see these two buildings, you want to do a little loop around here. And you'll see some aliens work in. And then just turn back this way, and you'll see the path that you follow for the shield portal. So, I just like to land my helicopter on top of this rock, pull out the shotgun, and there's a reason, and I just stand in between the cactuses on this scene, and aim up. See, those aliens, when I flew to the right around that building, it spawned these guys, and they get here very fast, so... What you want to do here is this, at the very last possible moment that you're able to shoot this helicopter guy, you want to shoot him with a shotgun. And he'll just crash down and knock the cactuses down. After you do that, you want to jump back in the helicopter. And if you had a mutant detected, message, which you're going to want to watch for before you do that trick. When you're getting in the helicopter, you can watch your radar. If you see a single orange dot coming in faster than the other dots, that's going to be a mutant. So you can use knowing which direction he's coming in as a baseline to increase your chances of escaping. And if you look on the radar behind me, you can actually see that there's a mutant chasing me. But as long as you're up high in helicopter, he can't get you, so you don't have to worry. And so we're gonna well, fly around. And just get face level and shoot the processor. There are two mutants on the ground below me, but I'm completely safe up here. Now the reason that we went to so much trouble to fly up and make an alien crash on the cactuses is because normally the cactuses were specifically put there to block you from taking this helicopter into America too. But now that the cactuses are gone, we can just fly the helicopter through the shield portal. And what both cactuses done, it's actually pretty easy. You can, if the um, helicopter bug only knocks down one of the cactuses, you can still just get in the helicopter and go. You can get through the portal with one cactus done. It's just a little bit more precise, but here you just want to... Alright, so we're through. So we're going to turn, we're going to hug this shield wall to the east. And when we hit the edge of it, we're just going to turn a little south of east. And coming up, you'll see a roach gunner spawn in. You want, when you see that roach gunner, you just want to turn around and, hey, look, a processor! So, we're just going to take this processor out. Now, for safety, if you want, you can just... Grab the health this race spinner drops, it doesn't take a lot of time. And come up here, we're gonna fly east on this shield wall. And normally you can't get this helicopter in this stage. The helicopters they have in this stage which you normally use a fly here, or bigger, so that they can't get through the shield portal. But since we have this one, we can just mess up. We can just fly through the portal. And you want to be a little bit west of south as you fly south here. And there should be... Yeah, there's the landmark. You wanna, if you s don't see that, and then you'll see the edge of the portal. When you hit the edge of the portal, you want to turn more southwest. And you'll see two roach gunners spawn in. Right there. When those roach gunners spawn in, you can use those as a guide to find the processor. 
So I like to stall and then fly in because it causes this helicopter to fly forward. If you just go right into the processor immediately and all four of them turn their um, machine guns on you, you're probably going to lose a helicopter. So just do what I did there. Hover temporarily so they come forward and then go in on the processor. And here, I'm going to get a UFO, but... Unless you want to be really risky, it's very important that you wait for this cutscenes and the man in black is about to, like, tell me something. You want to wait for him to talk. And now we can get to UFO. The game will freeze if any of those prompts come up when you're coming out of the boat and getting UFO, so that's why I waited there. So now the Doomsday device idea for what you want to do for the Doomsday Devices... You just want to land on them, use the Resonator, it'll kill them, and then move on. This is the route I like to take. This is the hardest one. After getting over the house, I actually backtrack a little bit, because otherwise you're going to overfly it. And the reason I take this is because after this one, I can go right to the portal. All right, now, after you do that, you're going to turn and fly northwest. And this will take you to the portal. You see how I end up... You can use that island, go through the portal, and this shield generator just mashed the UFO resonator weapon and it dies. The easiest tower ever. Alright, now we got the boss. This boss is the first boss in the game that's legitimately dangerous. Alright, so let's pause. At the start, the first target, he's going to have a little arm. He's going to be throwing spiked wheels at you. The way I like to fight him is at the start, I'm just going to not move. And when he warps in, I'm just going to start shooting him. Alright, and hopefully what you just saw will happen a lot is when the wheels come through me, my aim will go down and it's going to destroy them or deplete their health them. Toward the end, some of the wheels are going to come towards you again. So you can shoot them down to get help with them. Now, we're going to go and grab these laser missiles. Now, zoom the camera out. He has two arms now. You want to shoot the one on your right first. I recommend collect the alien artifacts on America, 